Welcome to JV Weapons and Resources, and today we're going to take a look at the Rock Island Armory GI M1911 A1 mil spec 45. The Rock Island Armory GI M19 A1 mil spec comes with an all steel construction, 5 inch barrel, parkerized finish, spur hammer. GI guide rod and plug, rear vertical caulking serration, traditional barrel bushing setup, and a manual thumb and grip safety. I ended up taking this out, shot about 150 rounds out of it. I had two malfunctions with it, both of them were with the Remington 45s. Uh, the main malfunction was that it was just locking back and it wouldn't feed up into the chamber and all it took was just a, another slide and it would lock in. I shot 50 rounds of Winchester, had no problems, it was the 50 rounds of Remington that I had issues with. Other than that, this ran flawlessly. One of the biggest complaints about it is the wood grips are kind of really really wide and if you're shooting it that that you really have to manipulate your hand to get the magazine drop it's not very comfortable you kind of really have to readjust your thumb to get that down other than that if you're looking for a basic GI 1911 this is a really really good 1911 the Rock Island Armory 1911 is made in the Philippines. It is a basic no frills 1911 as if you're looking for a 1911 to build up, make a race gun out of, this is probably not the 1911 for you. Really basic. You have the GI sights, really basic sights. Um, so it's a very basic gun. So if just I'm not a 1911 uh, fanatic. I don't, I've never shot the high-end 1911s, this is my first 1911, but if you're looking for something to start out with, or you just want something that's no frills, this is the gun for you. Uh, two other things, issues that I had with this too, is that it does have the serrations here for, for cocking it pretty much. The problem is that they're not really that aggressive, so if your hands are oily, it's really easy to slip off of these, they're not that deep in there to really get a good grip on there like the Glock does. The other issue I have is when you put a fully loaded magazine in and you try to use it, oh, that time it did it. Uh, let's go see if I can do it one more time. Oh, sometimes the round will actually catch and when you do it it doesn't quite it will catch up and it won't close and you actually have to drop the mag so it's something that you have to be conscious of if you have to actually put the right amount of the right amount of uh like power behind it so you don't do it enough now it's feeding fine for me but uh it was an issue that i've had a couple times uh i don't know if it's just with my hollow points but it is something to look look at too with this but besides that it's been really reliable it didn't jam at all like i said it locked back once when i had rounds in it, it just took a quick little um pull of the slide and it was back in action i don't know if that was the ammo or if it was the gun but i got it fully cleaned now and lubed and the next time i'll take it to the range i'll give you another guy's update on this and uh let you guys know and
last one hit it. Thank you for watching this video. Like and share this video. Also like us on Facebook and on Google+.